Hey everyone, so today is the second teaching of the Law of One Tarot and we are going to talk about the matrix of the body, in particular the justice archetype. So I will show you here. So we are talking about the matrix of the body here, which is the justice archetype. All right. So if you want more information about what the mind, body and spirit complexes are here and then what the matrix potentiator, potentiator, catalyst, experience, significator, transformation, great way are, you might want to check out older vlogs. So today in particular, we are looking at the matrix of the body complex, which is the justice card. All right. What I do want to go over, though, is I want to go over what the body complex is. So this is from the raw material. And the questioner asks, thank you. Would you define mind, body and spirit separately? Raw responds, I am raw. These terms are all simplistic descriptive terms which equal a complex of energy focuses the body, as you call it, being the material of the density which you experience at a given space time or time space, this complex of materials being available for distortions of what you would call physical manifestation. So basically what Ra is saying is our body is a physical manifestation for our spirit complex to have an experience here on the third density and on the third density the experience is through bias which are also called polarities you always are going to have a negative and a positive so that you yourself have this third density to make choices now the choices the reason we have this body is so that we can experience we can experience our senses so our senses of our body complex are part of the distortion so that is what Ra is saying here then Ra goes on to say the mind is a complex which reflects the inpourings of the spirit and the outpourings of the body inpourings of the spirit outpourings of the body complex it contains what you know as feelings, emotions, and intellectual thoughts in its more conscious complexities. Moving further down the tree of mind, we see the intuition, which is of the nature of the mind more in contact or in tune with the total beingness complex. So the total beingness complex is part of the matrix. It, it is what was created. The matrix was created in complete awareness, complete beingness. Moving down to the roots of the mind, we find the, prog the progression of consciousness which gradually turns from the personal to the racial memory to the cosmic influxes and thus becomes a direct connector of the shuttle which we call the spirit complex. So when Earth, when Gaia first became aware of herself, we can kind of call that beingness. The whole of Earth was in this beingness state. It was just in this awareness. Within this awareness, you have your mind complex, okay? So the mind complex is here, so it can be connected with spirit, and also through our body, connected with the processes of that that within us that create feelings that create emotions which equal the intellectual thought the intuition the inpouring of spirit is only possible through the mind complex and there's a lot more that Ra is saying here but i really want to just keep this to the justice um justice card so let's move on body complex 
Uh, Ra goes on to say, the spirit complex is the channel whereby the inpourings from all of the various universal planetary and personal inpourings may be funneled into the roots of consciousness and whereby consciousness may be funneled to the gateway of intelligent infinite, infi infinity through the balanced intelligent energy of body and mind. So in order to have all these inpourings and channelings that we can of our higher self, we must balance our body and mind, our feelings and thought, our emotions and intellect. You will see by the series of definitive statements that the mind, body, and spirit are inextricably intertwined and cannot continue one without the other. Thus, we refer to the mind, body, spirit complex rather than attempting to deal with them separately for the work, shall we say, that you do during your experiences is done through the interaction of these three components, not through any one. That is why when you go back here, all of the major arcana are divided into your mind complex, into your body complex, and into your spirit complex because none of these three here can work without each other. So work by working, I mean bias is created and our whole job is to come back to love, come back to nothingness, come back to everything which requires an extreme amount of balance. So talking about balance, let's talk about the Justice card. So I'm gonna talk about the Justice card a little differently than maybe what you've heard. And remember, I use the Law of One material from LL Research, all the books, and I also use uh, Matthias De Stefano's vlog, and I put those two together in order to explain what I think is explains the major arcana best. So if you look at this justice card, you'll notice that there's a blindfold, fold, there's scales, and look at anything else, and whatever sticks out to you is important for you at this time. So really take a second and have a look at the card and notice what pops up. And for me, it was, the blindfold and the scales mainly, also this little snake up here. And he's also kind of sitting in a very, or she, it's actually a she, it's not a he. She is also sitting in a very kind of like straight position, feet flat on the floor, animals around, the wing is down, the wing is down on the bird, and then the sword is up, but she can't see anything. So. Those are the few things that I've noticed. Now, here's how I'm going to explain the justice card. So the justice archetype is Libra. It's the eyes and it's the energy or the element of air. Libra ex expresses, and remember, this is from um, Matthias de Stefano's vlog. And I think, in my opinion, this best describes the justice card. Libra expresses itself in your eyes, seeking balance in the look uniting two polarities to find a center focus and thus be able to see. Libra is the balance between the inner gaze and the outer gaze. It is the one who is in charge of bringing coherence to the external world, projecting the beauty of what it feels in what it sees, decorating the grace of life and existence with its soul. The external world nourishes the internal world with ecstasy, filling it with colors through the eyes. And remember, the eyes are blindfolded here. All right. So, so then um, Matthias breaks himself down as me, I am, and yo. And his vlog is called Yosoi. So his me part of him says, justice is blind, they say. The I am part answers, 
Well, no, justice is an artist. What has made her blind is human corruption, who, just as she believes that justice is fair by not seeing who judges or separating between poor, rich, or powerful, has actually become someone who cannot see where the imperfections of justice are of any kind. The me says, and what happens if we don't follow the balance of Libra? So before I say that, this is really important. So the I am says, justice is an artist. What has made her blind is human corruption, who, just as she believes that justice is fair by not seeing, who judges or separating between poor, rich, or powerful, has actually become someone who cannot see where the imperfections or injust injustices are. We have become so blind to what is clearly an injustice and we all walk around with blindfolds on. We don't use our eyes. We just use our eyes to see this much of what is in front of us and what suits us. What out there will in the material world and what can we get that will benefit us we do not use our eyes to see the beauty of all of mother nature we the eyes are here to see the artist of the planet the planet's an artist the artist within you therefore the justice is blind thing is us being blind and us allowing ourselves to allow all this corruption and just the balance of fairness is so off that that's what tips the scales so in my opinion in my opinion that's what is the i am is saying here in my explanation so so then the me asks and what happens if we don't follow the balance of Libra. So if we're wearing blindfolds to everything, the scales are not going to be even. They're not going to be balanced. So then what? Libra will lose balance and it will be corrupted. And he will not be able to distinguish between what he sees and what he feels. So the body complex here, so the seeing and the feeling will be completely distorted. And he will fall into the eternal dichotomy of doubt and internal struggle, living a life of illusion in which he prefers to decorate the lies than to discover the truths because his own inability will terrifies him. So when you begin to put yourself in a state of confusion, you're an easy target. You are beginning to allow space. Confusion creates doubt, and doubt will create internal struggle, and then fear is going to do what's easy. And sometimes putting the blindfold on, a lot of the times, not sometimes, is easier. To see beauty, and from an artist, he will become a liar a smoke seller, a being who by deceiving himself deceives others by submerging himself in the deepest of doubts. So you first begin by doubting yourself, which brings up some internal struggle. Then you justify the internal struggle and then you're going to submerge that internal struggle to the external and you are going to preach it to other people how injustice is fine. So what if we have a bunch of poor people here in Vancouver who cares about them? They did it to themselves. That is wearing blinders. Then the me asks, how do you not fall into that illusion? And the I am answers, you must be fair, straight, and live in the balance of both eyes. Focus. Find the perfect harmony between your right and left eye. Go inside both and find the third, the one that brings you serenity, harmony. The one that allows you to see the global image, the whole beyond, the one that shows you on the outside that 
you are what you are inside may you dare to see because when you do it's beautiful man it's absolutely freaking amazing all right so just some notes from me the polarities are within the unjust eyes of the add up. Begin to notice how many times in your day you turn a blind eye. And, and I'm, I didn't include a link um, in these notes to my uh, workbook first for the Law of One Tarot, but I will in the description. Please buy it and work through the workbook with what I'm teaching now, it is, it will change your life. It's changed my life. I am, every time I even do these vlogs and teach it, I've already, when I'm putting these notes together for you guys, I mean, the, oh man, the, the meditation, it's exponentially just like, changing me it just makes me emotional because you do it just gives me so much love and I feel so um I feel the balance you know I feel the balance so begin to notice how many times in your day you turn a blind eye what would happen if you didn't turn a blind eye, blind eye did it make you uncomfortable what is why is it uncomfortable why is it uncomfortable? What is uncomfortable to you? What is the real truth of the situation? Your truth, not somebody else's truth. What is the real truth within you of the situation? How can you balance the scale with the left and right eye in order to access the third eye? So these are some questions that you can work on through workbook one, and you can just flip Flip to the justice card. I've put out the pictures. Like I've tried to do, I, I kind of try to present you with my workbook, especially workbook one. It is a little slower, um, but I want to teach you what I know now. The stuff that I know now, I didn't know when I was doing workbook one. So it's kind of in your benefit because you're getting, it's a little expediated, but when you do meditate on the cards, like I used to meditate on the cards and still wasn't absolutely sure. I would write notes on the cards of what I felt at the time. But now that I've dabbled into Matthias de Stefano's vlogs, this just makes so much sense. It's like, this is what was missing. This is why all this time I couldn't teach the tarot. I always felt something was missing and it was the his vlog it's freaking amazing his work and the law of one l research are like this so good together what role does the third eye play i already said that love you guys so much thank you for watching my next video is going to be right here it's going to be uh, about the matrix and we're going to go down and do this the devil card which is the spirit complex and you'll be really surprised at what i have to say about it Love you guys.